Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're going Funko Pop hunting. I'm just over here at the office right now um, because I was working on a couple more shelves and then I also brought over a couple more pops this morning. I have to do a couple more things before we go. I'll show you the shelves in a second and I gotta throw this box away, so give me a minute here. So I've built about, ooh, maybe five shelves now. Both small ones I built and I've built two or three of the big ones so I want to show you those we're gonna be wrapping those all the way around the corner and I'm actually really excited about that because they're gonna look really good once they're all done I want to make it look like the walls are shelves if that makes sense so it's kind of like gonna be like a Funko Pop wallpaper when I'm done for that room uh, but yeah I'm really excited about how it's turning out and guys, the best part about having so much room for Funko Pops and with all the shelves, it's actually much better to organize them. So I can organize them a lot easier than I could at the other place. There I only had about eight shelves. Now I still haven't even brought those eight shelves over and we already have, I believe it's five or six already built. Um, so I'm really excited about how it's gonna turn out and we'll be able to even organize them even better because I know a lot of you guys did not like how I organized them last time. Well, how I didn't organize them last time, I guess you could say. So this time I want to organize them, say, by Disney, and then in Disney we'd put all the incredible ones together or something like that. I just think it'll look really great with all the new shelves. All right, guys, so this is as many shelves as I've built so far. So we've got the three here, um, and this is actually going to be going all the way to the door and all the way to the window, and I'm hoping to do it where you guys are right now. This is a small shelf that we had from yesterday, and then this is a new one that I built today. Um, you guys might think it's not much. I've only been here for a couple hours and it's really annoying to build these shelves. The backs of them just don't go together very well. They're kind of odd. Also, something that bothers me that you guys might never notice, but I'm going to point it out now for any people with uh, OCD. Sorry about that. These shelves connect at the top, but they don't connect at the bottom. And I built them straight. It's not like I didn't build them. They also come kind of dusty and stuff like that, so I'll have to clean them off a bit. Um, but yeah, it's really starting to take shape in here. I'm excited to have it so they go all the way across over there. That'll look really cool. But anyways, guys, let's go home and then we'll meet up with Mom and Noah to go Funko Pop hunting. All right, guys, I met up with Mom and Noah and we're going into GameStop now, so let's see what they've got. I think I have some pre-orders today, so maybe we'll pick something up like that. All right, guys, so we are over here in the front section. Now, they actually moved the whole store around, so it's cool that we get to show off all the new stuff, but I want to show off some stuff here. First off, we got the Coca-Cola Polar Bear. They only had one in the store, but we grabbed one. Really awesome. So there's that one right there. I gotta be careful with that. Um, I also found over here they have Pez Girl and Mimic the Monkey. So three new pops for our Ad Icon collection, which I'm really excited about. Uh, but yeah, they also got in the the Night King. This is the Icy Night King. Actually, I pre-ordered this from the HBO shop. The Glow in the Dark one will be coming in for me. So I'm not gonna get this one today, but I am really excited about that one. Uh, what else do I see here? They've got the Minnie Mouse. Dis uh, this is the Christmas edition one. They also have Cyclops down there. Um, they also have some from My Hero Academia. These are the, this is the New Wave here. The Silver Age All Might actually looks really cool. I like that one a lot. I know a lot of you guys are into My Hero Academia. I haven't watched the show. Um, no, have you seen My Hero Academia? Not all the way through. Not all the way through, but you have seen Pop some of it. Hunter. Yeah, Bearded Pop Hunter loves the show. Um, they also have Jason Blum over here. They have the new movie moment of Batman and Commissioner Gordon. We picked this one up at a different GameStop recently. Um, what else do they have over here that's awesome? This is, oh, they have Everest from Abominable, which is really cool. And I also noticed on the back, they mentioned the Funko Pop Blitz. So I don't know if he's going to be going in the game, maybe? It is universal, so we might be seeing him in the uh, game soon. We need soon. to know because we love that game. Oh, it is a fun game. It's a fun game, I would, and I would if agree. there's characters, we're going to be getting them. For oh, for sure. Um, they also have the Hello Kitty ones. They have the Kawaii Burger Shop, Sweet Treat, and then 8-Bit. But anyways, guys, uh, they also have the Spyro ones here, guys. They've got Nasty Nork and Spyro. There is a third one in the set, but I don't see it here today. It's the... Ripto, I think. So anyways, guys, there's that. I'm gonna keep digging around and see what else we can find, though. Hey, guys, over here. So I think, Noah, you're gonna be picking up the Wrecking Ball um, Lego yes, set. that is awesome. It's pretty cool. Yes. Um, they also, over here, guys, if you wanna come in, the day of this coming out from two to four, you guys should have two hours to get to GameStop if the video comes out on time for EST. And um, we can build and take home a mini Lego Overwatch. How, how do you pronounce that? Ganymede. Ganymede? Spashensburg. Oh, that's cool. I think, yeah, you're right. It's on the pop, isn't it? Uh, I, think I think so. so. Yeah. Anyways, guys, just thought we'd show it off because Noah's going to be getting some Overwatch Lego. Hey, guys, so it looks like GameStop is starting to get in Lego now. Noah, what's this one called again? Well, it's called the Blockade Runner, but... But this is the Tantive 5? Yeah, I guess that's... Or Tantive 4, sorry. Tantive 4. Game. It's uh, 1,768 pieces. I love how specific they are with this. Here, can you flip it over quick? Let me see the backside. It shows some of the, uh, some shows some of the pod and stuff. Oh, I like the escape pod. That's cool. Is this from... Uh, would this be in A New Hope? Yeah. Is this the so, very yeah. beginning scene in A New Hope, it looks like? If you flip it one more time, Noah... Or no, tip it up here. I want to show the... 
let me tip this up here so you guys can see. It comes with Princess Leia. Oh, there. Um, it comes with uh, Captain Antilles, Rebel Fleet Trooper. I feel like they should come with like a hundred of them, but you know, they can't do so many pieces. Yeah. Uh, C-3PO, R2-D2, and then um, Baal Organa. I don't know Baal why Organa. he's on there because yeah. he wasn't in there. And he wasn't in the movie, but still pretty cool. I like this set a lot. Um, just, wanted, just wanted to show this off, guys, because they are getting in lots of Lego. Hey guys, we're over at Five Guys right now. We just stopped here to get a bite to eat. Um, no, what do you have right now? Yours is just a burger? Just a burger? No, I got, a, I got a burrito. Oh, no he didn't. Anyways guys, we're gonna keep going now. Um, we'll see you guys over at maybe Walmart next or Target, I don't know. Anyway, see you guys in a minute. All right guys, we finished up at Five Guys. Now we're going into Walmart to see if they have that new horror section. All right guys, so here's what they've got in the pop section over here. I was hoping to see if they had the Halloween section with Chucky and another one, I don't remember what it is, but um, it doesn't look like they do, at least I didn't see it yet. Um, but they do have some pretty okay ones. They've got uh, the Reaper down here, which I think I see every time we come. Um, but still a pretty cool one. And then they also have the Skull Trooper glow in the dark. So there's the two of them right there. Pretty cool. I already have this one here, and I, I don't think I'm going to be picking that one up today. But uh, yeah, let's keep looking for that Halloween section. All right, guys, so I looked around. They did not have the horror stuff, but that's okay because they have got a lot of stuff today. Um, but let's show Noah has been looking in the Lego section because he wanted to check out the other Overwatch Lego, right? So they have this here. It's the, what is this, Roadhog and Junkrat? Yes, sir. Cool. On motorcycle. Yeah. What's this here? I've seen this before. I I know the name of that, but I can't think of it. I know they have the flower plush. And that's what it looks like. It comes with this Junker Town. It is pretty cool. I do trap. like it a lot. Anyways, guys, there's that right there. We are looking in the Lego aisle again just for fun. There is some pretty cool stuff over here at Walmart. Uh, but we still have to go to Target, so let's go there next. All right, guys, so I'm in Target right now. I'm hoping to find something good. I don't know if there's anything new recently, but it'll be good to go over there and see what they've got. And it was a see at the section. Okay, guys, so I'm looking in the back over here, and the newest thing that I see is Rex right here, which is pretty cool. I already have it, though. And then Garfield. So I have Garfield as well. Um, but yeah, that is probably the newest thing. I haven't seen Garfield at the store before. Well, maybe one more thing, actually. I haven't seen Bastion here either. Also, there's the bird that we got at a Lego right there. It's that little guy. Pretty cool. We'll have to build that when we get home. Um, but yeah, not, not too much that's new over here. But I'm still going to keep digging around and see what else I can find. So guys, the only other thing that I could find for Funko Pops was these two SpongeBob SquarePants 10-inch ones. Um, yeah, it looks like that's about it. They don't have anything new today besides those ones that we saw at the back. So I think we'll go home and show you guys everything that we picked up today. All right, guys, so we are back from pop hunting today. Now, we're back at home right now. We're not at the office. I wanted to just end it here because I don't really have anything at the office right now. There's just shelves and a couple pops. Once we get more into it and once we build all the shelves, I'll start to stock them and we'll start to get these shelves out of here as well. Um, like I said, there is going to be a couple of them in here, maybe two or three for like my really expensive ones. So that way they're with me more so than not. Um, so anyways, I think that's really cool. I'm getting excited about it We do have a lot of really cool stuff coming from the office and people are asking yes The office is a separate place. It's not in the house. I mean if it was in the house um, I would totally have put my stuff there before um, but yeah, it's a new space that I rented out just to um, do for video so it's gonna have different backdrops different settings and it is a it is a bigger space to hold more figures as well which is really awesome so that way it gives me a bigger variety of pops and um, I can do a better variety of videos instead of I know what I, this looks like a lot but sometimes I'll be like oh I really wish I could do this video but I feel bad purchasing this when I don't have room for it but now I'll have room for it and we can do even cooler videos or maybe I'll get the whole set instead of uh, just the main ones that I think might get like the just the main ones that I think are really cool um, yeah like we'll slowly kind of branch out and make it even better so that's why guys and even with today's video I feel more creative already like even starting in the office before I would have just started in the car and we would have continued but like with the new place I feel like it's just more fun to just film around because instead of being in this spot where I can film at home it's pretty much like the whole space is dedicated for YouTube videos so I think that's really fun. We still have a lot of stuff coming, um, but it's getting really exciting. So let's get into what I picked up today. I got four figures because it was buy three, get one free over at GameStop. I'm just going to keep it off to the side here because there's a lot of stuff in here. Let's start with the one that doesn't fit with the rest of them, which is Spyro. I picked up the new Spyro. I was really excited about this one. This is just Spyro from, I think just they're just considering it Spyro, the game. Um, there's also Nasty Nork, and then there's Ripto as well. They didn't have Ripto, but they did have these two, Spyro and Nasty Nork. So I did pick up Spyro. One cool thing that I noticed was, or someone pointed out on Instagram, was they actually have a little egg on the bottom. 
as like an Easter egg. It's an egg and an Easter egg, which I think is really funny. Um, but there's that one right there, guys. So let's pop this out of the box real quick. I think this one's really awesome. I also like how they made the base um, and that star as well. Um, if you guys are younger, I would feel like you guys would think, oh, this is Skylander Spyro's Adventure. But it actually, there was a Spyro game before that, um, which I think is really cool. And this is what I believe it's based off of, not Skylanders at all. Um, but yeah, this is just like Spyro in general. I think this is, an, this is an amazing figure. I'm really excited about the 10 inch one coming out as well. So maybe we'll have to get the whole set and that can be one of the backdrops in the background. Maybe we'll let you guys vote on that as well for the new place. We'll see what you guys think and um, whichever one you guys like the most, we'll do like a vote for with different 10 inch ones. And then we'll have the 10 inch figure and then we'll have the smaller figures around it. Maybe some other props and stuff like that that go with it. Such as like the Dundee that I picked up over at uh, Hot Topic. That could be cool. Anyways, there's Spyro. Noah also purchased that Lego. It was the Wrecking Ball one with Hammond in it. Um, I don't know if he's built it or if he's building it right now. Um, but I wonder what he's up to with that. Well, Tristan wanted me to film me making it. But I forgot to do that. So I can, I can just show you it. It's right here. It's really cool. There's a little lever on the side that makes him go in, but uh, I, I, I finished it. He wanted to know where I was, um, but I, I, I built it before I knew he wanted me to film it, so it's, it's all done. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let's get on to the next stuff here. We've got three more things. So let's go with this one here because you guys saw this one a little bit closer up. This is the Coca-Cola Polar Bear. I was so excited about this. They only had one of them. Um, so I'm really glad that I could get this one. This is a great one for the ad icons. I'm so excited about all the ad icons that are coming out. Um, I just ordered the Tony the Tiger recently, so we have that one coming in soon. The 10 inch one, of course, not the normal one. Um, but yes, yeah, so we've got the Tony the Tiger coming. We've got the Polar Bear. We've got so many different ones. Oh, this thing's so cool. I love this thing. One that I really want to see is the Cinnamon Toast Crunch um, guys, you know the ones that are a little crave those crazy squares? Those guys, that would be a cool ad icon. And I was thinking about it, like they have a lot of cereal ones and that would be a great cereal one because I think they'd look really good as Funko Pops. Um, but yeah, Funko, if you're watching, that'd be an amazing one to make. Um, but anyways guys, there is the Coca-Cola Polar Bear. I also love that it's got Coca-Cola all over it. It even has the, um, what's that right there? 58 inside of a Coke bottle cap right there. Also, I think I saw on Instagram, people were wondering what number 23 is. I believe it's the New York Comic Con Pigeons could be number 23, which I'm really excited about because then we can have the line completed up to a certain number. I don't know what number it is at the moment, but uh, it's pretty high up. I think it's like 50 something. Uh, but anyways, let's get on to these guys here. Okay, so these ones are awesome. These were the ones that I actually pre-ordered, so I'm glad that I got these ones. Um, so now I've got all three of them for the set, actually. I'll pull this one out, too. Um, so this is Peter Pez. That's the original one that they've got on the back here, I believe. Oh, no, it's a different one on the back. Okay, so there's a common one coming out as well. Uh, but anyways, here's Mimic the Monkey. This is really cool. What I love about the Pez ones is that they're holding tiny versions of themselves. Um, it actually took me a long time to find Mimic the Monkey online. Um, but when I did, I like the obscure ad icons as well. I was just going to say that. Um, but yeah, Mimic the Monkey is so awesome. I'm going to have a giant ad icon section at the office too as well. So that's going to be cool. You guys are good to see them all in one spot. But anyways, there's Mimic the Monkey. Really cool. I like that one a lot. One of my favorites. This is the teal version. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that. But yeah, really excited that I could get one of these guys. And then we also grabbed one more figure today, guys. And then that's pretty much it. I wish the Walmart had the horror pops, um, but they didn't. It's all right. Maybe, maybe next week they'll have it or some other time. I don't know. Uh, but the last one we got here, guys, is the Pez Girl, which is really awesome as well. This is the brunette Pez Girl, I believe they're calling it, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, there's that one right there. Now, let me actually pop some out of the box. So, fun little fact with these guys. She has, I believe, yeah, brunette Pez Girl. There's also one coming to the Pez Visitor Center. i got to check on eBay to see if I can find one um, for a good price. So, they come with these little things on them. You can actually pop them off. I wonder if I can. Yeah, so there we go. It's just a little piece of plastic to hold it together. Um, right there. So what I'm going to do actually is put that in the top. I know I've talked about this before, um, but that's a great way to hold them if you don't want to uh, lose them, but you don't want it on the pop as well because it kind of, you know, it takes away from the figure inside the box, but it's nice so it doesn't scrape up against it. There is the brunette Pez girl right there. It looks really great actually. I like this one a lot. Um, so there we go guys. That's everything that I picked up today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow.